If you want to be considered a lockdown defender, then you have to be able to effectively guard elite scores consistently. It's an extremely tough task. That's why elite defenders like Dylan Brooks, Drew Holiday, and Lou Dort get paid a lot of money. Being able to slow down elite scores is something coaches and scouts love. So in today's video, I will give you some tips on how to guard them. The first tip is to learn their tendencies. Every player has that go-to move or their go-to spot on the court. For example, Kevin Durant's spot is in the mid-range, Curry's spot is the three, and LeBron's spot is in and around the paint. So finding your opponent's tendencies is crucial in being able to stop them. Let's dive deeper into this. One of Kevin Durant's best shots is the pull-up jumper going right. So as a defender, I know every time he drives right, there's a high chance he's going to do some variation of a pull-up jumper. But we can also get a little more detail. KD normally does two dribbles before he gets into his jumper going right. That's his tendency. So again, as a defender, whenever KD is driving right, you can basically predict those two dribbles and get a good contest or a good block. And if you want to get even more detailed than we can, when KD is further behind the three-point line, he changes those two dribbles to three. So as a defender, you would just need to understand his distance from the basket in order to time his pull-up jump shot. Another example is Paul George. He loves doing different variations of the step back, especially in the mid-range. So if you were defending him, that would be a tendency of his that you could be ready for. The second tip is to stay disciplined and not gamble. This one is very important. Elite scorers are elite scorers for a reason. They are very crafty and smart and are taught at a young age how to manipulate defenders in various ways, such as drawing fouls. It's not a coincidence that the three leading scorers on the season have very high free throw rates. Joel Embiid, Luka, and SGA have mastered the ability to manipulate undisciplined defenders. Being disciplined and not gambling isn't much of a skill, but it's more of a mind thing. You should know never to leave your feet on closeouts and to never reach at a shifty ball handle. That's exactly what elite scorers want you to do. You reach, they teach. The third tip is be more physical both on and off the ball. The old school way of bothering the least scores is by roughing them up a bit. We never want an elite score to be comfortable or be in rhythm at any point of the game. PJ Tucker is the perfect example. Watch how Tucker gets physical with Durant as he's trying to get to the ball. This is what making an elite score uncomfortable looks like. KD has ran off down screens his entire life, but I doubt he's ever trained it while getting pushed around. This physicality breaks KD's rhythm. And I'm not saying you need to be wrestling with your man for the entire possession, but little subtle bumps is enough to bother any elite scorer. The next tip is to prepare mentally. What I mean by this is you need to accept the fact that there will be times where you get crossed or even dunked on. Every elite defender in NBA has been crossed numerous times throughout their career. If you play defense hard enough, you're going to get crossed. Oh, nice pass. Staying loose. Storm pull missed that three. Also, Draymond. Oh. The next tip is to communicate with your teammates. There will be games with offensive players on fire and shot after shot, you're not able to contain or guard him. But basketball is a team sport, so utilizing your voice can be the difference from winning and losing the game. Players like Giannis are unstoppable. There isn't one player in the NBA who can guard him one-on-one -on -one consistently. But it's a lot different when he goes up against a great team who's great defensively and communicating at a high level. This is how you should sound on the defensive end. The last tip is to play a lot of pickup basketball. Most skilled offensive players spend hours playing pickup basketball to try out new moves or techniques. You should have that same approach on defense. Whether you're at the park run or at your local gym, always try to guard the best player on the opposing team the entire time. Guarding random players will introduce you to a lot of different skill sets. One day you'll go in the gym, you'll guard a shifty score, the next day you'll guard an athletic score, and the next day you might guard an elite shooter. There are so many benefits of playing pickup. You're able to try as many defensive techniques and strategies as possible. In conclusion, the six tips that will help you clamp elite scores are picking up their tendencies, staying disciplined, being physical both on and off the ball, preparing mentally, and communicating with your teammates. And lastly, playing a lot of pickup basketball. Hope these tips helped you. Let me know in the comments what other defensive tutorials you'd like to see.